Hey, what's happening out there? I'm going to go ahead and talk you through this work I've done. This is the um, upcoming video about Little Top and a EOD extract. This is the first scene, so I found an aerial photograph and pulled it into Topaz Labs. Um, Topaz Labs has a bunch of filters. Some of them are kind of cartoonish. Uh, Buzz Sim is the one I used right here, just so we can establish where the scene's taking place. And now I'm going to go ahead and start building some other elements. So I just um, pulled this helicopter out here. You can see doesn't have to be real detailed. I'm just going to kind of delete the background and keeping the shape. You know, these uh, cutaway shots are usually up for maybe five seconds. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of time um, making it look great. Unless, of course, you want to. But usually for me, doing the characters and stuff is the uh, most difficult part of putting these together. So I'm going to build some rotors on here. So just the opacity, put a little motion blur. And do another one right here all right what I'll do then is I'll just I'll just flatten that so I've got a nice little helicopter I'll um, name it helicopter duplicate it and adjust the aspect so I can get a shadow um, save it off now I replace that whole scene with the Photoshop file so now I brought it in as a composition I have it in layers so I can begin to animate so you can see the helicopter down there and now what I'll do is, is I'll just um, start making some keyframes. So I have it, you know, about four or five seconds in, takes off. Um, it'll do a slight rotation and then pull ahead. So you can see I pull it up some and then rotate it like it's taken off, matching the shadow underneath and fly it out. And then we try it out, see how it looks. And, all right, looks pretty good. Slow, but it looks good. I'll adjust it a little bit because you know these cutaway scenes like I said are only about five seconds so what I'll do then is I'll go ahead and duplicate that other layer because you know we, we want a little bit of motion to be going on here I think I there we go let's see bear, bear with me e, um, using easy ease so it uh, kind of moves into it slowly moves out that's a f9 shortcut key that you can do or you can right click on the keyframe itself and go down to easy ease um easy ease I, I like a lot but if you get too crazy with it you start getting some a lot of handles everywhere it can mess up your animation so you use it when you want a nice ease in and ease out as it's called but uh don't get too crazy with it it'll end up messing up your stuff all right I must have run to the restroom here since I'm voiceover in this later on. But what I'm going to do is put a little bit of movement down there in the village, in the uh, base. You don't need a whole lot. You know, maybe put some other helicopters up there in the screen. So there goes that helicopter. I'll go ahead and duplicate it, adjust the scale down. Um, and I just dropped the opacity a little bit so it kind of blends into the background. We'll have it go across north end of the base there. Looks pretty good. Guys taking off. All right, I like that. Duplicate the one in the background, throw it back there. Well, I've got a nice little air assault base here. Now, there'd always be somebody moving around, so I'll duplicate the bottom and then mask out everything but this little guy. And I will keyframe that guy just kind of walking around. Just tighten him up. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. He's tiny down there. You won't see his legs walking or anything like that, but you will see some movement. So i tried them a couple different places. Keep scale in mind. You don't want, you know, you don't want your guy to look like he's eight foot tall walking around. He's going to be, I try and do a normal about a five to six foot person at a distance. You, you can always look at the different doors and really see how big he needs to be. So I put him over there. All right, and there they go. Um, let's see. What to do then? All right, then I bring it into the main comp because I want to kind of fall in. I start out with the main thing somewhere in the Middle East, and then it will roll into this animation. For some reason, I accidentally got rid of my shadow. Not sure why that happened. But I will have the opening graphics somewhere in the Middle East fade into this, where I'll put in some sound effects, some music, and then it will fade into some T-walls that I got just to start with a wide shot go to a medium shot then a tight shot just standard videography stuff applies also in the animated world just to establish where you are so 
anyway next we'll um we'll get into going into the next scene where we introduce the puppets thanks for tuning in guys if you like this hit like make sure you subscribe i need all the subscribers i can get and follow little top on facebook instagram and all of them because this will be the new episode coming up featuring kent and stacy eod so thanks for tuning in we'll talk to y'all soon